Hello, Joe here. I am a musician, I'm a composer, and I like talking about music right here on this channel for your eyeballs to consume. So today, I wanted to explore the question of, is music getting worse? Now, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, I don't think music is getting worse. In fact, I think the question itself doesn't even make any sense. But it's due to shitty, no good, conservative, reactionary YouTube videos clogging up my suggested complaining about WAP that I feel the need to even bother making this video. Please like the video, please subscribe, please leave a comment. They all really help me a lot. And um, press the notifications bell. Go on, treat yourself. Let's go. Before we get into it, a little history lesson. So, Western tonal music, music as we know it, started out of church music in the medieval and middle ages. Plain chants, meandering songs, and all that crap. The rules for this music, much like the cocks of Catholic priests for little boys, were rigid. Very rigid. I can't believe I fucking wrote that down. Any deviation from these rules was unacceptable, and any composer daring to do so was more or less rejected. However, over time, hundreds of years, the standard for what was consonant or correct or good and dissonant or in need of resolution changed and became more relaxed. Composers like Bach began to push the rules and incorporate more and more variety and chromaticism into their music. Throughout the Baroque period, audiences, or more appropriately, the aristocracy's ears, became accustomed to this new, bold, at least for the time, vernacular. And music lovers, slowly but surely, started to ask for more and more from composers. The classical period, the time following Baroque, saw a more pared-down approach to music ornate, complex polyphony gave way to simple melody and harmony. To some, this was a step backward. However, to many more, this was the new vanguard. Composers built on what Baroque artists had created, adding their own flair and stretching the rules a little further. Moving into the Romantic period of the late 18th and 19th centuries, musical traditions and rules became further relaxed. Composers stretched and bent music to fit what they heard in their heads. Harmony became extremely chromatic at times, more so than it had ever been before. Orchestras grew exponentially in size to accommodate for audiences' desire for greater and grander textures and emotions, and the virtuosity of performers soared. None of this could compare, however, to the tidal wave that was the turn of the 20th century. This period saw the greatest upheaval to music in human history. Much to the distress of those who held onto old traditions, composers over the course of the 20th century tore down every single construct set up in the prior few hundred years. Audiences and artists wanted more. They wanted dissonance, harshness, but also new beauty that had never been seen before. A beauty which would have been totally unacceptable to the people that came before them. Which brings us to the modern day, with its wet-ass pussy. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet-ass fewer. The point of this little history lesson is that music is constantly changing. Throughout history, sound and the standards of what is and isn't acceptable has evolved. Things have gotten simpler in some ways and more complicated in others, and then have had that switched a few decades later. Humans are always looking to change, to innovate and to modify. So, with this knowledge, let's properly examine the validity of the question is music getting worse? First of all, music. Is music getting worse? What is music? Do we mean popular music, like Lady Gaga or Cardi B or whatever? Because if the question does refer to popular music, even the slightest examination will show us that with the rise of hip-hop, pop music has never been more revolutionary. Structures like the ballad format, rhythm and texture are constantly being innovated for the ears of the masses. Yeah, there's a song about wet pussy. Who the fuck cares? Men have been writing about women's bodies for centuries. Maybe it's their turn. Or maybe they mean all of music. All music is getting worse. Well, whoever actually believes that crap needs to listen to a greater variety of stuff. Just get a Spotify playlist running, like, come on. Back to the question. Is music getting worse? Now, this implies that music once was good and now is bad. We've already addressed the fact that people have always felt like this. Baroque lovers thought it about Mozart's music. Romantic lovers thought it about jazz. Rock and roll lovers thought it about EDM. People, as they get older and occasionally more conservative, become more nostalgic for their youth. The human brain loves to remember the good shit and airbrush out all of the negative stuff. So, as we age, we look around to see chaos and madness and confusion. And 
and conveniently forget that the world has always been like this. Shit has been continuously hitting the fan for decades, just don't remember it. And it's the same for music. People forget how hard being young actually is, and associate the music of their youth with easy living and peace and happiness. This is naive, and is an extremely myopic way to look at music. Finally, we get to the worst offender of the question. Worse. Is music getting worse? The word worse in this context means nothing at all. Music and art in general isn't a sock with a hole in it. It's not a broken umbrella or a used condom. And what, what I mean by this is that music does not have a singular purpose against which we can compare its effectiveness. Music does something different for everyone. Its function is completely and utterly personal. So to say that music is getting worse is like saying that the sky is a brick or that the sun tastes like happiness. It doesn't really concretely mean anything. Essentially, when deconstructed even the slightest bit, we see that stupid questions like this mean less than nothing, and only represent the moral panic of misled conservative idiots that are afraid of change. That's it. Music changes. Music evolves. Some music created today might appeal a little bit less to you personally, but that doesn't mean it's inherently worse or, or defective. It just means that you don't like it. And you want to know something? You are not shit. We really need to avoid shitty YouTube think pieces like this in the future. It just kind of clogs up our brains and our YouTube suggestions with videos that are clickbait and that are fundamentally worth less than a turd on the floor. Please like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also leave a comment. If you disagree with me, leave a comment. Have a fight. I love a fight. Get in fights in the comment. Boost my algorithm. Just do it. I need more subscribers. Ugh. Oh, and consider donating to my Patreon. $10 a month will get your name at the end of my videos. Until next time, goodbye.